Okay, so the circuit is working great on the breadboard. Now we have to make a more permanent version on a perf board and actually mount it directly into the enclosure. So the first step I did is I took the enclosure and as you can see here, there's a standard uh, hard drive connector. I've just soldered some wires onto here, three wires. One for ground, one for five volts, and uh, one for 12 volts. This is the aluminum plate here. And this is uh, gonna get a few holes. And this hard drive cooler is actually gonna be installed on here. So one of these fans is going to be blowing cool air in to a series of holes uh, into the compartment and the other fan is going to be sucking air out through a series of holes. Okay, so here again is that aluminum plate and this is the fan unit that's going to be mounted uh, quite close to the bottom edge of this. I've taken some measurements of the fan and I've converted those into uh, this CAD file here and we can actually get a 3D representation of what the uh, actual design should look like. So there's all the holes. Uh, you could do this on a drill press, but I'm just gonna uh, use the CNC machine to uh, punch all these out. So here you can see the block that I actually connected this down to and I was using quite a bit of cutting oil which uh, seeped into this uh, sacrificial block. It was actually double sided taped down and here's the uh, finished product, not cleaned up yet. So we'll clean this off and see how it looks. Okay so this is the uh, cover plate out of the CNC machine. Those holes actually turned out pretty good and I drilled uh, four holes here for mounting and one hole here for passing a wire through um, or wires through. I ended up actually scratching it a little bit but uh, it'll get covered up by the fan unit anyway so I'm not too worried about it. This is the fan unit here so uh, like I said these are the mounting holes for it and you can't even see that hole or the scratch where the wires will go through. And I think that'll provide really nice ventilation. Okay, so here is the circuit. Now it's on a perf board. This is the same uh, circuit design that we trued out and uh, we know functions properly based on our breadboard testing. This white wire that comes up and over here, that's our temperature sensor. So that'll uh, obviously needs to get isolated a bit better and that'll be mounted uh, directly on the side of the hard drive and this uh, terminal block here that'll be used to connect up our uh, ground 5 volts and 12 volts from the actual hard drive power supply and uh, these four wires basically go over to our two fans now right now the two fans are actually uh, still sitting in their stock position uh, what we'll have to do is actually flip one of them around so it uh, um, blows instead of uh, sucks or vice versa, whatever it is. Okay, so this circuit is uh, complete and it's been tested. The last thing I have to do is actually, uh, well, I'll have to do some strain relief. I'm going to put some, a uh, uh, little bit of hot glue around here and a little bit of hot glue around uh, these leads here. 
just to uh, strain relief it and isolate it. Uh, but obviously this circuit board is way too big. We're going to make it as small as we can. So we're just going to score it. Um, and the easiest way to score, to cut perf board is to actually score it along uh, a line of holes and then simply snap it. And uh, we're just going to be using a small X-Acto knife to do that. Now obviously, you know, you're going to be running off the end and possibly cutting through the material. So you don't want to be doing this directly on a desk. So what I'm using here is just a scrap piece of uh, MDF that I had lying around. Okay, so we're going to square along this line. On the bottom, we don't have anything there. And I'm just going to go fairly lightly at first. And then on successive cuts, I'm actually just putting a bit more pressure now that the groove has been established. Okay, so that should be far enough. So I've got about uh, three or four uh, good hard cuts in there. Let's snap it and see what happens. Well, it snapped fine. I could have done a couple more cuts. It was still quite tough to cut, but uh, here we go. That's a nice, uh, a nice cut board. Okay, so the uh, perf board here has been cut on all sides, so it's basically as small as it can be. And I've taken some uh, hot glue and I've uh, put some a liberal amount of it inside here so that these cables here are all strain relieved basically and uh, and won't snap at the solder joints and I've done the same thing around here um, I've taken some hot glue and given it a good liberal squirt in around these connections here so that they're uh, not only isolated but uh, will stand the test of time I got some hot water here we'll give it a final test before we assemble it uh, this is going over to a power supply and uh, this is ground 5 volts and 12 volts. I'll turn the power supply on. We should see the LED turn on for a second or two at the beginning. Okay, so the system is activated. I'll just hold the fan up so that we can get some good air movement and I'll dip this into the hot water. Okay, it's in the hot water. Okay, and I think we're right up to speed. I've also flipped this fan around here. You can see one has a shiny sticker on it. One just has the, the matte black finish. And we can probably see the as it's slowing down, the pulse width modulation on this LED also goes down. Yeah, maybe not on the camera. And there we go, we're off. We're cooled right down. Let's do it one more time. Okay, it looks like it's working good. Okay, so this is pretty much time to button things up. This is going to be flipped over. This unit here is going to be slid into place right here. I got the power line running along the side here and coming through the hole. Um, right there. And I have the temperature sensor coming in and it's actually wedged in in such a way here that it's uh, in contact with the hard drive so that should give me a pretty decent temperature okay so the build is done 
This is what the modified drive looks like now. And now we're guaranteed, no matter how hard this drive is working, it's going to stay nice and cool. Okay, so I've been transferring files for about uh, 10 or 15 minutes now. And uh, it must be hitting the low level because it's uh, just slowly cycling on and off with uh, oftentimes one minute or 30 second pauses in between a short cycle. So it's working. Okay, so now it's been transferring uh, data for about half an hour and uh, <clears throat> the fan is on steady now and it's cycling uh, looks like between about 50 and 40 percent. You can see the LED is occasionally dimming down a little bit and then increasing so it is uh, working between two different thresholds there and right now it's, uh, it never turns off. It's always running And there is a bit of warm air coming out of there, so it's doing its job. For more information, please go to alanparek.com.